okay welcome back to the channel einstein mechanics today we are going to talk about implicit and parametric differentiation now let's start with the implicit differentiation let's consider a function defined by the, this equation f which is the function of x and y equals zero where one of the variables let's say x or y is not solved for explicitly in terms of the other variable then one says that y is defined as an implicit function of x. For example, the equation of a circle given by s squared plus y squared minus c squared equals zero is an implicit equation because if not make y the subject or y has not been expressed in terms of x, therefore it is an implicit equation. But the most interesting thing is that you have some of some of the implicit equations that you can transform them or change them into the explicit form. Just like in this example, you can say that y equals square root of c squared minus s squared when you make y the subject. So we've transformed it from the implicit form to the explicit form. Okay, now let's start solving some examples and see how you get the understanding. We have s squared, let's use the equation of circle, s squared plus y squared minus c squared equals zero. We are supposed to find dy over dx in this equation. Now, in implicit differentiation, what you have to pay attention to is that since uh, y or x has not been expressed in terms of the other term, what we do is we differentiate term by term. How do I, what do I mean by term by term? So let's say solution. We have s squared plus y squared minus c squared equals zero. So we will differentiate the x term with respect to x, the y term with respect to x, and the constant, because constant will go to zero. So let's start. So s squared, the derivative of s squared is what? 2x. But we differentiated s with respect to what? x so with the x over the x plus the derivative of y squared is what 2y so we differentiated y with respect to what x the derivative of your constant is zero so there is no need writing it so it goes zero like this then you make <coughs> the y over the x the subject mind you the x over the x will take care of each other so you can have 2y dy over the x to be equal to negative 2x dividing both sides by 2y like this this will take care of this 2 will take care of 2 and dy over the x will be equal to negative x over y so dy over the x of this whole function has the derivative of y with respect to s of the equation of a circle is negative x over y Okay, let's try another example. Let's say we have an equation in the form y squared minus s squared plus x y equals 3. Okay, so how do we do? You can pause the video and try your hands on it. Now, like I said earlier, we have some of the implicit equations that you could transform them to the explicit form. Uh, it's rather obvious that with this one it will be very very difficult to transform it or let me say to be mathematically mm, impossible or something like that to make either of the terms the subject because no matter how you make the substitution you are still going to find yourself with the same term in the equation again so with this you cannot convert it to the explicit form so you have to apply the idea of implicit differentiation so let's start differentiating. The derivative of y squared is 2y. But what did we do? First of all, let's know what we are finding. We are finding the y by the x. Okay. So the derivative of two, uh, y squared is 2y. But we differentiate y with respect to what? x. Okay. Minus the derivative of x squared is what? 2x. What did we do? We differentiated x with respect to what? x. Very good. Plus, we have a product of x and y here. 
So here we apply the product, we will hold one and differentiate the other. So I will hold x, then I differentiate y. If I differentiate y, I will get 1. So 1 multiplied by x is still x. But I differentiated y with respect to it, x plus the first time I held x. So this time I'm holding y. And I differentiate the x. If I differentiate the x, I will get 1. But what did I do? I differentiated x with respect to what? x. Then we differentiate the constant, which is 3. So we get 0 here. Okay. So mind you, dx, dx will cancel. dx, dx will cancel. So we will get 2y dy over dx minus 2x plus x dy over dx plus y equals 0. Okay. So let's make dy over dx the subject here. We have dy over dx multiplying 2y here, dy over dx multiplying x here. So we can group like terms. And when we group like terms, we will get 2y plus x. Then dy over dx will come out equals Let's send negative 2x and positive y to the right hand side of the equation. So we are going to end up with 2x minus y. Then we divide both sides by 2y plus x all over 2y plus x. So this will take care of this and this will take care of this. So at the end of the day, we are going to get 2x minus y all over 2y plus x as our final answer so anytime that you are differentiating x with respect to x it will be the x over the x so there is no use writing the x over the x there again so you just skip the that step and you will know it's going to be one so you just leave it like that so it when differentiating the um x squared i would have just write the two x and that's all there's no need for me to write the x over the x again so the next thing that we are going to talk about is the parametric differentiation now sometimes relationships between quantities let's say two quantities or variables are quite complicated and that we sometimes need to introduce a third quantity or a variable in order to make things easier now in mathematics this third quantity is what we call a parameter so instead of one equation relating say x and y we have two equations one relating x with the parameter and one and the another one relating y with the parameter so for example you could have y equals r sine theta and y equals r cos theta okay so any value given to theta will produce a pair of values for x and y which we can plot it to provide a care or something so we can plot this to get y is a function of f of x yeah so extending this knowledge assuming we have two quantities x and y which are given in terms of a parameter let's say t then by theory of differentiation dy over dx will be equal to dy over dt multiplying the t over the x yes so so that is that let's try solving examples and see let's say we have a parametric equations of a curve which are x equals 3t over 1 plus t and y equals t squared over 1 plus t we are asked to find dy over dx so dy over dx equals don't know okay so when given these type of questions what you do is you first of all differentiate each of the variables with respect uh, each of the um each of the yes the variables with respect to the quantity 
So we will differentiate x with respect to t and y with respect to t. So let's start with x with respect to t. So 3t or 1 plus t is quotient. So we apply the quotient rule of differentiation that we talked about or we learned in the previous videos. So we can let u equals 3t. So u prime or derivative of u with respect to t will be equal to 3. Let v equals the denominator 1 plus t. Then v prime will be equal to 1 again. So the x over the t by the product is going to be u prime v minus u v prime all over v squared. So the x over the t is going to be u prime, which is what? 3 multiplying v, which is 1 plus t minus u, which is 3t multiplying v prime, which is 1 all over v squared, which is 1 plus t all squared. So the x over the t is going to be 3 plus 3t minus 3t all over 1 plus t all squared. So 3t will take care of 3t. So the x over the t is going to be 3 all over 1 plus t all squared. Okay. So we have the x over the t. Now let's find the y over the t. So we know that y equals t squared all over 1 plus t. So here to you let u equals the numerator t squared. And the u prime is going to be 2t. v equals 1 plus t. v prime will be equal to 1. So dy over dt here is going to be u prime v minus u v prime all over v squared. Okay. So dy over dt is going to be over u here is t squared. Sorry, we mean I mean u prime rather. Yeah. So the u prime is two t multiplying v, which is one plus t. Okay, minus u, which is t squared, multiplying v prime, which is one, all over v squared which is 1 plus t r squared let's do the simplification so dy over dt will be equal to have 2t plus 2t squared minus t squared all over 1 plus t r squared so we have 2t plus 2t squared minus t squared. So we're going to have dy over dt as 2t plus t squared all over 1 plus t all squared. Okay. So we, we have our dx over dt to be 3 over 1 plus t all squared and we have our dy over dt to be 2t plus t squared all over 1 plus t 
or squared but we have to find the y over the x right you don't know but you have the s over the t and the y over the t but we should not forget that from chain root the y over the x will be equal to the y over the t multiplying the t over the x right so that the y over sorry the t over the t will cancel and we will get the y over the x back so after differentiating the parametric equations we have the x over the t but in the equation we want the t over what the x so what we are going to do is we will, we will just reciprocate this so we just find the inverse of this by just reciprocating it but we are already have our dy over the t here so the t over the x is going to be the reciprocate of this so it's going to be one plus t all squared all over what three so it is the inverse of this or the reciproc the reciprocate of this okay so now that we have everything on board let's see what the answer is going to be so dy over the x is going to be dy over the t and we have that as 2t plus t squared all over 1 plus t all squared times the t over the x which is 1 plus t all squared all over 3 so this will cancel this we are going to have our dy over the x as 2t plus t squared all over what 3 which can be also written as this can also factorize t out or something so this is our final answer so when you are given parametric equations you have to find maybe you derive by the x or whatever you just have to differentiate the given equations and and adjust the derivatives in such a way that you get whatever that you want here i had the x over the t but i wanted the t over the x so that was quite simple i just reciprocated it and i multiplied it i multiplied it by the dy over the t and i had my answer so that is that Thank you for watching the video and have a good day. Bye.